Hey guys, this is Dominic from Redleaf Exotics. We have a really juicy video for you today. We are here in Australia at Exotica Plants, the world's greatest Nepenthes nursery. And we're gonna be taking a look at their Nepenthes Edwardsiana. They have so many of them laying around the greenhouse and there's a huge pile in front of me. I know growers love this species. So let's take a closer look at them, see the toothy peristomes, and talk a little bit about them. Check this out. Wow, are these nice. Wow. All of these are seed grown. They're approximately nine years old, I believe. And uh, these are also from Marai Parai. They're not the Tambo Yukon form. Um, some of them have more of an orangey type picture. But they are spectacular. Here's one over here. Exotica is growing these in pretty solid intermediate temperatures. The winter here, I would say, they're probably getting more highland. I'm standing in front of this evaporative wall where you can see all the plants are right in front of it. And it's pretty cool. Um, I'd probably say it's hovering around 80 degrees. And then when I come in here at night, I'm not sure of the exact temperature, but it is chilly. Um, but these plants are just thriving. Really nice. There's some smaller ones here. Oh, that's a macrophylla. Just kidding. But there is an eddy mixed in with it right here. Wow, look at all of them. Coming along. This one's more of a golden orange. huge pictures and exciting news um some of you already know this but Jeff has been breeding quite a few of these he's been making some crazy things he just announced that they made glowy eye Edwardsiana truncata fipiata giant cross Edwardsiana uh, truncata giant Edwardsiana and so many more that I can't wait to share with you guys they made so many crazy Eddie hybrids and you can see all of their plants are spectacular. Look at that. Wow. Here's one. You can see they just go on and on and on. There's some back there. Here's a nice tall red one. Let's see if I can get this. Wow, is that nice. Beautiful. They keep them a little drier. You can see the moss here is a little uh, dry. Uh, Edwardsian in the wild grows a lot epiphytically, so they're kind of mimicking those conditions, and the plants seem to respond to it really well. Check it out. Let me see if I can get this one out of here. I don't think I can, but you can see. I'm gonna go from the other angle. Ooh, 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 ooh. Beautiful. Love it. Nepenthes Edwardsiana. And just to let you guys know again, EP does grow these more as an intermediate intermediate. They actually have one in their lowland greenhouse that I'm going to show you guys in a second. Look at the pictures on these things. They're just everywhere. <laughs> it's crazy to see this amount in one spot. They have so many plants and further along in the highland greenhouse there's a few more back there. They just kind of have them mixed in. There's actually one here on the other side. Really nice. Here comes the newer pitcher on it. Quite a size difference compared to the last one. And then over a few days, it'll color up nice. Wow. Nepenthes had parts y'all. 
They are so nice. So let's pop on over to the lowland greenhouse where we will cut the video, but I'll show you guys their uh, specimen they have growing there. Here we go. So I jumped over to the lowland greenhouse and you could see this is probably their largest plant actually. Really tall pitchers on it. And I believe this is one that they have flowered and are breeding with. Really nice. Wow. Such a spectacular plant. I just want to bring one home. Please, Jeff, give me one. And I'll show you the pitcher on the other side. Look at that. Well, a cute, quick little video on Nepenthes edwardsiana. I hope you guys enjoyed that. You need the species in your collection if you have intermediate or highland conditions. Although they are pricey, they're well worth it. Nepenthes edwardsiana, y'all, here at Exotica Plants. I'm Dominic. See you guys more for more Nepenthes juice. Have a good day.